hi my lovelies and welcome back to my channel so if you're new here then welcome thanks very much for clicking on the video my name's Sarah and if you're not new here then welcome back so today I am doing almost a full face of Timu makeup some of these well a lot of these products I've actually used already in my videos but some I haven't so yeah, it's not really, like, there's only a few that's the first impressions, unfortunately, but yeah, I just wanted to do a full face of Timu makeup, so if that is something that you like the sound of, then please just keep on watching. Okay, so primer first. So we've got the Power Grip Primer and this I believe is meant to be a dupe to the e.l.f. primer. I do have the blue one as well but I'm using the pink one today. I've never actually tried the e.l.f. well no Tell a lie, I've tried the blue elf one because my friend let me try hers um, and I quite liked it but I didn't want to be paying £10 for the primer because I don't use gripping primers often enough to justify buying it to be honest especially for £10 but then I seen that Timo was selling their own version of it for £3 each and I was like right I'll pay that it may have actually been less than £3 actually I'm not too sure, but yeah, it gives a nice glow to the skin as well, which I like. So I'm just going to let that dry in and then we can get on to the rest of the base makeup. Okay, so now we're going into foundation. Um, so I'm going to be using this today. It's the Langmani Cosmetics and if I remember correctly, I think this is meant to be a concealer foundation or just a concealer, but I'm using this foundation. I've used this once, I believe, on camera. And I really did like it, to be honest. So this one is slightly too light, it's the shade 02 and I did get 04 as well so I'm just going to mix a little of shade 4 with it. I'm just going in with a beauty blender and I'm blending this out. Yeah, mixing them both together makes the perfect shade for me. Very full coverage, as you can see. So if you don't really enjoy full coverage, you're not going to like this. Because it's incredibly full coverage. I'm just going over my eyelids as well because um, I did do a video before this and it stained my eyes a little. Um, but yeah, this is super full coverage. But also feels sort of quite lightweight on the skin. And it still looks like skin. I think that's what I like about it the most is the fact that it is full coverage but it still looks like skin and feels very lightweight. I glazed 
concealer in the shade 103 Light Natural. It looks like a rare beauty drip, so seems interesting. This foundation also has a nice glow to it. Again, if you've got oily skin, I don't know if you would enjoy this foundation because it's quite... It seems to be quite dewy. So I don't know if you would like it if you had oily skin, but definitely if you've got dry skin, you're going to love it. Again, on the nose to get rid of this fain. <laughs> And I think I'm just going to use this for this concealer actually as an eyeshadow base. I don't usually use a concealer for that purpose, but I've used the only primer from Timu several times on my channel. And I think it's just going to be a bit boring for people like me using the same eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to use this as my eyeshadow primer today. But again, don't recommend using a uh, concealer really as an eyeshadow base each their own but I would not recommend. If you are going to use a concealer though, make sure that you set the concealer on the eyelids really well before you use any eyeshadow because it can be very creasy using a concealer. That's why I do not recommend it. It doesn't work as good as an eyeshadow primer but again really don't want to be boring people using the same primer all the time because I didn't want to buy another eyeshadow primer from Timu again because I've got so many eyeshadow primers that it would just be a complete waste of money for me having new foundations in the space of like two days um, which was bad, I know but Let's just pretend that that didn't happen, okay? Um, I do have some brushes from Timu. I don't think they're going to be good at all, but I figured I do want to test them out, and this is probably the best video to put, choose use them as within a Timu fit makeup video. I don't think I'm going to like it at all, but you know what? We'll just we'll see. So I'm just using a little of this setting spray from Timu. It's a Glow Mist Set and Refresh Glow Spray under my eyes before I powder them. I've done this in the Revolution video and I actually really, really liked it. I felt like it actually did make a difference to my under eyes. Um, although I have just used a bit too much and it's took the makeup off. Let's fix that. <sighs> Do not want to be losing that beautiful coverage that I have created. I will say with that concealer though it's very very matte. I I do like a matte concealer, that's my preference. I'm not too sure if this is actually a little too matte for me though. Um, it's definitely one of those concealers, I'll need to use it a few times to really fully know if I, I really really like it. Um, but so far I don't mind it. Okay. Now I'm going in with this July Star Loose Face Powder. Um, it's a pink loose powder, but it isn't super, super pink to be honest, which I'm glad about because I do not want a super pink one. I'm just setting under eyes with that. And I'm also going to set the lids with this powder as well. Ok, 
Okay, let's have a re look now that it's been set. I'm not sure how actually. I think it might be a concealer that you don't need to set on matte my, my skin, to be honest, because of how mattifying it is. Next time I think I'll just try it without setting it and see if that works better. I keep moving this camera accidentally, but you know. I tried this brush. I don't know its name, it doesn't have a name. And I'm going to use it to set the rest of the face. And I'm using the Oil Control Banana Powder. It's just a pressed powder that I got from their website. Brush is very flimsy. It's not really what I look for in a brush to be honest. It is a flimsy brush. Who does? To be fair, but um... I don't think this brush is for me. Okay. I don't have a bronzer from Timu, so I think... Oh, that's actually a shimmery... Okay. I think I'm going to try and use this brownish shade from this eyeshadow palette. Just... I mean, it's worth a try, isn't it? To use for a bronzer. I don't know if it will work as a bronzer on me but it really is worth trying out again using this brush now from Timu um this shade does slightly work for me as a bronzer but also doesn't but you know I'll make it work because uh, again I didn't want to buy a bronzer from them. I do have some bronzers and an eyeshadow palette from them but I've used the eyeshadow palette a few times now on my channel so um, I didn't want to buy a bronzer because I've got lots of bronzers well not lots of bronzers but I don't really tend to gravitate towards bronzers personally very I, I use them obviously but I don't buy them very often that's more what I mean like I don't look at a lot of bronzers and be like oh I want to try that I'm very very picky with a bronzer um, now I'm going in with the Everything Wins palette it's a shimmer blush palette and I'm going to go into this middle shade here it's beautiful though, it's a shimmery blush palette and it's gorgeous. I've used this a few times as well. It's a flatter brush from Timo. It's alright. Um, now I'm going in with this Langmani Shimmer Highlight palette. Gives me Ofra hypes. And I'm just going in to this shade here. Stunning. Yeah, I really like that. That brush was alright again. Nothing amazing. Um, now I'm going back in with that setting spray all over. With this sponge. It gives a really beautiful glow and adds life back to the skin. <sighs> now for brows, I am using this Sweet Mint Slim Liquid. Oh, it says Sweet Liquid um, eyeliner, but um, on their website it said it was a liquid brow pen. I've also got a liquid brow pen, which actually I meant to but I picked up that one instead accidentally so <laughs> ignore that um yep and I'm just going to do my brows for this got the perfect shade match for me um does it say which I got this in shade 103 I wonder if this one would be better. Let's see. Yep, 
And this one's a much better shade to match, actually. Good, okay. Now for the eyes, I am going in with this Coco Urban 12 Colour Eyeshadow Show Off Your Own Colours palette. It's very cute. Um, it's the same palette that I used that shade from for doing my bronzer. <laughs> it did work, you know. It's not perfect, but it worked. Okay. <laughs> it's more the eyeshadow brushes that I am very, like... <sighs> They're going to be rubbish, but, you know, let, let, let's just try. Okay, I'm going in with this light shade here. Next, I'm going in with this shade. I do not have any shade names. Surprisingly, the eyeshadow brush is actually blending the eyeshadow. I did not think it would do that. I can't complain too much. Now I'm going in with this deeper purple sort of tone. The eyeshadows themselves are blending quite nicely. They're not the most pigmented but you can definitely build them up. Gonna put that on my lower lash line as well. I'm gonna use what shimmer am I gonna go in with? Um, I'll go in with this blue. Okay, that's not working. Yeah, the finger is better. They're very hard pressed shimmers to be honest, so I, I think you're better off just using your finger. Doesn't seem to pick up on a brush very well because of how hard pressed they are. You can see that they, they are working and you can get beautiful payoff with it. Just a little bit more work, I would say, to get the pigment that you're wanting. You need to build it up, but it's not the worst. I mean, these palettes only cost £4, so I wasn't expecting them to be, like, absolutely amazing. And now I'll go in with this shimmer and put it on the lower lash line a little. That is a little less hard to press and it does pick up with the brush. really do like that palette. I think it's really good quality. Um, now, I'm not going to do liquid liner but I'm going to put a little bit of this black liner from um, Blue Fin from um, Tima on my waterline. Mascara, um, Sky V. I've used this a few times and it's actually pretty good. I really like it. And now for lips, I am going in with this lipstick from Timu. Again, it's Punk Style. In the shade two, okay, that is the final look, guys. 
the eyeshadow palette was pretty decent for four pounds. Love the mascara, of course. Um, the lipstick is a bit sticky. Overall, I actually really, really love Timu makeup, but I do not like their brushes, so I think I'm going to clean the brushes and put them in my special effects um, drawer for that. I think they would work better for that because I need to cheap brushes for that side of things anyway. You do not want to be using your brushes for special effects. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing I don't like is the brushes. Um, but everything else I think is really pretty. So, yeah. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot to me. And I will see you in my next video guys. Bye!